really like for David, the streets of Seoul are a much longed for safe haven. He's North Korean, one of the very few to have defected in the last few years. And his journey here was utterly remarkable. My mother bribed the soldiers beforehand, he tells me, as he shows us where he crossed. For the safety of his family, we can't tell you exactly when or exactly how he left. But his stories from inside are astonishing. His father defected first. That ultimately landed his mother in prison. Prisoners receive around 20 to 30 kernels of corn every meal. My mother's body had shrunk to half her original size. My eyes filled with tears the moment I saw her. She was so dishevelled and gaunt that I didn't recognise her initially. They also beat the women in prison. He was still a child, but he was left to fend for himself and his siblings. They stole food to survive, taking what they could to their mother. My mother said people died every day from malnutrition. She even said that people would die in the middle of meals. To dispose of the corpses, she said they folded the corpses at the waist and put them into sacks. Afterwards, the corpses were buried near the fences of the prison. The stench of the corpses would come up from the ground in the spring when it became warmer. David's stories matter because such recent testimony from the other side of this tense border is very rare indeed. North Korea was already one of the most secretive countries in the world. Views like this are about as close as most of us will ever get. But the pandemic has intensified that secrecy. Those very few defectors are one of the only windows in. And it seems COVID has further strangled an already dysfunctional economy. David says it's brought fresh waves of shortage and struggle. All the trade routes were effectively closed down. We depended heavily on smuggling goods from China in order to survive. I heard from my relative that more people are starving and prices are rising. They say it's become even more difficult to live. I mean, looking at these summit pictures and this kind of coverage, it just so much has changed. We are in a, in a totally different era in which North Korea is really very isolationist. A strictly closed border has made information harder to come by. Experts yeah. say it has also it caused widespread now, hunger. Right? I'd say chronic economic crisis, uh, not acute. It's just an ongoing bad situation. Definitely some people would, would be uh, in serious health problems due to the food shortages. Symbols of hope still line this contested border, although most agree the increased secrecy will remain. Life beyond these barricades is still shrouded in mystery, more now than ever before. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News in South Korea.